and I why mess with perfection? Hey y'all, my name is Nat. I hope you're having a terrific day today. And for this video, we are going to be doing the wishful thinking book tag. All right, before we get into anything bookish, make sure to hit like and subscribe down below, as well as tell me in the comments, what is a book that you wish was written by a different author? Okay, so this is a tag, meaning I have to talk about the lovely Margaret Pennard who tagged me, and I'll put a link to her video in the cards up above. However, this tag was originally created by Mason in the Dark, and I'll put a link to his video in the description down below. Also, it doesn't specifically call for it in this video, but it's a tag, so I'm gonna go ahead and tag some people right here at the beginning, Paige at the PM Reader, and let's go with Randy Lynn also. Both of those ladies will be linked in the description. Highly recommend following them. So starting out, first up, Legacy. Is there an author you wish that was still alive today to witness the impact of their work? I'm going to be completely honest. I had the hardest time with this. I looked at it. I looked at my shelves. I looked at my Goodreads. I really thought about this. I tried to figure out if there's a book or a series that I've read that I've really loved but the author has passed away and I came up with nothing. Nothing. I don't read a lot of classics. They're just not my jam. I'm disappointed in myself that I couldn't think of anything for this. I'm just being honest with y'all. <laughs> Next question. The Memory Wipe. Which book or series do you wish you could forget either so you could experience it again for the first time or forget completely? I went with The Prior, uh, a book that I could forget and that way I can reread it and experience it for the first time. I said book. I meant series. I gotta go with the Winston Brothers. I just had such a phenomenal time reading this entire series the first time. Although I absolutely plan to reread it eventually, I would love to go into this with fresh eyes again and re-experience everything and just fall in love with these characters all over again because I was squealing, freaking out about every single book in the series. I have talked about this series ad nauseum to Josh. I've probably explained the whole family dynamic at least three different times to this man. I just, I loved it so much. It was so much fun. And again, if I could re-experience this for a first time, I just bet I would find so much happiness in it a second time around. Hopefully I will have that whenever I officially reread it though. <laughs> Next question. Destiny, which character do you wish had a different fate? Okay, so I have two answers for this because my first one kind of feels like cheating. I'm gonna go with Roma and Juliet and Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong. It's sort of cheating because this is a retelling of Romeo and Juliet. Everybody knows, or everybody should know, how Romeo and Juliet ends. Meaning, like, it doesn't take a genius to put together that this has to end similarly to continue the retelling element. And I was a little sad that it did, but I can't fault the author for how she ended this because it fits so well with both the characters, with everything that had been set up, with the retelling. I had grown to care about them so much and I, I just wanted a different thing. Like I said, this one's kind of cheating. If I wasn't doing this, I'd probably have to say Pip from A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This one's gonna be hard to talk about because of spoilers also. Really loved the first book. I really enjoyed the second book. I DNF'd the third book in this series because I understood what turn Jackson was taking. I just didn't like it. Looking back on it still, it actually annoys me because I get what she was doing. I follow her logic, but that's not what I want in this sort of a series. Even though I never finished the book, I looked up what happened. I, I talked about it with multiple different friends and it still annoys me that she did that. Ruined a perfectly good series with that sort of an ending. So if we completely removed that and made it into something that fit with the rest of the series, then I think I would have enjoyed this so much more. <laughs> this is what I'm still bitter about. There's a reason I only own the first two books. I'm not gonna buy the third. Next Next question. Namesake. If a character was going to be named after you, what kind of person would you wish for them to be and what sort of story would you want them to be in? Okay, first off, this feels like one of those questions where it's like, give us three characters that you think you're like and I hate those sorts of questions, but I gave you an answer. I would want a character who is named after me to probably be outspoken, probably sarcastic, but cares a great deal at the same time and then has a dark sense of humor. As far as the story I would want her to be in, I feel like I have to go with some sort of a fantasy tale, especially an adventure. I just think that would be something that I would really enjoy. And if a character was named after me, I would want her to be in that sort of a story. If it's like a classic sort of fantasy, maybe a bard, ranger. I have a friend who's an author, so um, here's some inspiration. Next question. 
Collectibles, which fictional object do you wish you could own? Okay, so this is also kind of cheating if I'm being honest because it's not so much an object as it is a location. I'm gonna go with the Starla Sea. It literally houses like all of the best things in life and I want that. I would love to have a house that was just like that. Cozy interior, warm fireplaces, cats, everywhere books as far as the eye can see different places to play music oh and not to mention cozy food wonderful tea and nice alcoholic beverages i mean just like tell me that does not sound like heaven i want that i want it so bad i mean yeah i could kind of try and create my own but morgan stern's it's just so perfect and I why mess with perfection next question the reset button which book or series do you wish were written by a different author okay so it's not so much that I wish the series was written by a different author but I'm gonna go with this specific book particularly the third act conflict in well met by Jen DeLuca I think Ronnie Lauren could have absolutely made it so much better I read this for my second second enemies to lovers five by five i'll put a link to that in the cards i was really enjoying this i was having such a good time until we hit the third act conflict and although this book is single pov i was so annoyed that it seemed as though our female main character who we've been seeing through emily it seemed as though she had been having issues that were pushing against the happiness that the couple is trying to achieve just as much as Simon, the guy, is having issues. Whenever they have their third act breakup, it just felt as though everything was pushed on Simon and he was vilified for something I still to this day disagree with. Did he mess up? Yes. Yes, he did. But there's an element of it that she makes him out to be the bad guy for doing and i hate i hate it so much but again her problems just like basically disappear it's never acknowledged again that she's been dealing with these commitment issues coming off her previous relationship whereas ronnie lauren absolutely excels in her character creation and the way she focuses on helping the characters to overcome their past traumas, their difficulties, the things that are causing them to have a hard time as a couple. She just writes those situations so well so that the characters grow themselves and then come back together to have their happily ever after. I wish Jen DeLuca had done that for us with Emily as well in Well Met. Basically, the whole third act conflict, I wish Ronnie Lauren would have written it. <laughs> That's it for today though guys. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit like and subscribe down below. I have all my socials as well as a few ways you can support me linked in the description. I come out with videos on Monday and Friday but until then I hope you continue to have a terrific day. Love you. Bye!